third race of the Euro Formula Open season was something of a thriller. Off the line, pole man Sandy Stuvik converted that into the early advantage as the pack charged towards turn one, but he was pursued by teammate Artur Janos. There were concerns that it might get a little bit too busy into turn one, and so it proved Nicholas Pola and Shea Wan Lim going no further. The first laps were full of instant and drama. The Corbella Competizione cars well in the mix with William Barbosa and Damiano Favoranti both failing to make it to the flag. John Simonian also had a busy day. In between flashes of pace, he had the odd spin. Another look at the instant between Lim and Pola shows that the Korean driver was very lucky not to be tipped onto his roll hoop. See again, there's a lot of man climbing up over the rear wing of the German. Both of them eliminated on the spot. Another early casualty was the Israeli driver Yarin Stern, who was tagged into a spin, Gerardo Nieto somehow escaping from the gravel trap. The race, once it got through those tumultuous early laps, turned into an absolute thriller. Cameron Twynham and New Kanemaru busy doing battle over the final spot on the rostrum. That became the fight for second when Sandy Stuvik pitted into his box with a mechanical issue. The RP Motorsport mechanics frantically at work to get the tyre driver and championship leader back on track. A mid-race safety car bunched the field up, and when the race resumed, Artur Janos was able to make the jump and slow starting Twynham, who was swamped by both Kanemaru and Alex Palau into turn one. This was a particularly fine drive from the teenage Spaniard who nursed a damaged front wing throughout most of proceedings. That made him, though, vulnerable to challenge from Kanemaru. The Japanese eventually able to squeeze through after this bold move around the outside into turn five. John Simayan recovered well up the order after his early spin. The brave move on Tanak Sathian Thikarol. The tie driver unable to find a way back past the Russian. Unfortunately, though, Simonyan ended the day in the gravel trap. This spin, where ambition exceeded adhesion, putting the Russian driver out of the race. This is what the Euro Formula Open, though, is all about, though. Young drivers learning the craft and the limits of their machinery. You can see that Alex Palou noticing that damage front wing, but it didn't deter him to come through and claim a very fine third position. He really is marking himself as one to watch. Just 17 years old, Spaniel Roddy has one win to his name this season. Yukanamaru has also made a very solid start to his Euro Formula Open career. Coming off the back of two difficult years in Formula Renault 2 litre racing, he has already ratched up two trips to the Rostrum this season, including today's fine second place. For Artur Janos, though, this was a red letter day. The young Polish driver scoring his first career victory in the Euro Formula Open and capping what has been an absolutely fantastic start to his season. A fourth and a second place at the Nürburgring and a first place here in the first of two races in Portimao. Cameron Twine, though, it was a difficult day. He spent the late stages of the race busy fending off the attentions of Konstantin Tereshenko. For Janos, though, it was a victory, and emphatically so, over Yu Kanemaru and Alex Palou. It's a celebration for Artur Janos. As he and the RP Motorsport team celebrate. For RP Motorsport, it is their second win in a row. So our cup-class winner was Constantin Peroni. In third place was Alex Palou. And in second, Yu Kanemaru with our race winner and overjoyed Artur Janos. Smiles all around on the podium and why not? It was a thoroughly entertaining race. One with instant and drama throughout. And the drivers who made it to the rostrum really had to fight very hard for their success. For Artur Janos, this is a date to remember. Artur Janos, brilliant win in Portimao, a difficult track. How was it? Hi. It was really difficult. I worked last year to be here very hard. Today, I, in quality, I feel that I was fast. And 
I saw it, I show it in race. I all the time control the base, and uh, in the finish, I knew it that that is okay. First win for you in the series. Uh, many more to come. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, first win is really very really great feeling, and I hope it will be tomorrow. <laughs> maybe maybe in next tracks, and maybe. Uh, following the footsteps of Robert Kubica? <laughs> I hope so. Congratulations, well done, thank you.